Kids especially like fish, and kids like water. They like classroom aquaria and things like that. It's okay, let's put something in the aquarium that we're actually going to monitor instead of just look at as an ornamental display. Well, aquaculture fits that perfectly. Three, four, five, six. They can help grow a certain number of fish, learn about that species, the native species within the Chesapeake Bay. And they can monitor that growth through the whole year. Aquaculture is a way of, of getting kids to be involved in all aspects of science while taking care of a living organism that is ultimately released back to the wild. Let's uh, get ready to put this thing back together so we get ready for our new fish. It's not a science class where you do a lab and then it's over with. It's every day. We have pumps go down, coolers break. It's out. That's probably enough. We've had, we had disease problems, we had parasite problems. It's constant problem solving involving living organisms, and that's the key. Where's Megan? Did you bring up the ACAD drawing? We began in aquaculture approximately 10 years ago. What we tried to do here is develop a system that you could build for about 300 hours. Now, with support materials and everything, it was considerably more. We have grown in 10 years from one tank system to 13 systems with over 5,000 gallons of water. And we just tried Jeez. these peas, and they actually flower and fruit. I was friends with Bob Forhoog when I was teaching, and I went to him, and we sat down and said, hey, you know, what, would, what could we do together? Maryland Sea Grant Extension Service has been working with us for about the last four years. We've been in this huge room that I'm in now for about the last six. We came up with this idea about aquaculture, and how do you put this to use in your classroom? We can get them striped bass from Horn Point. This year, we're going to have 10 schools to take striped bass to. The striped bass that are at Horn Point, they are raised there, and they're used for a variety of different research studies. They always have enough to give us a few hundred. Aquaculture itself blends into a lot of uh, different curricula at the high school, middle school level, even elementary level. You could study the microbiology of what lives in this water, the, the, nitro the whole nitrogen cycle in terms of doing microbiology. Kids are required to, to collect large amounts of data. They graph it, they analyze it. By doing that, they're okay. able to tell how well the fish are doing. And then we'll, we'll, in we'll science, some of these pictures. in order to prove something, you have to have data. Bingo. Let's grab that one. Ah, there it is. You can actually see the spores. Boom. Here's how to get striped bass. We box up about 20 to 25 fish uh, in these bags with oxygen. And so they'll last the whole day and uh, put them in coolers, and they're fine. They've got plenty of oxygen for the day. And then we take off and drive. Just never sent back an email about. And we're getting fish for him today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we've got this whole route that we figure out beforehand. This year we'll go up to Hartford County, and then we'll start swinging back through Baltimore County, Baltimore City, Anne Arundel County, you know, Montgomery County, Carroll County, Frederick County. So. All right, I'll take the box. And then we drop the fish off, and a lot of these people, they, they know what to do. It's a routine. Okay. So we bring them in. We say, look, here's the fish. We check their salinity and their temperature and compare the two with their system and the, the fish that are in the bag. And the teacher knows how to acclimate them appropriately. I really was surprised because I really thought it was going to be harder to do. Um, I really enjoyed putting the unit together because that really showed me, ex that way I knew exactly what everything did. It was easier for me to explain how the whole system worked and everything to the kids and by actually setting it up myself. And we want to add their salinity because they're not as salty as we are. We don't introduce too many fish at one time really not a really big load if their water is prepared correctly. I teach everything with the fish and we're into the fish in my room big time. 
and the kids got really protective of the fish. Last year, they were all hiding over in a corner. They took ownership. They took ownership of the fish. 